This is a little algae-y, algae-y, <laughs> bit of a bloom going on here. Yeah, I think I might head a bit further down, down to sort of one of the islands down there. I mean, you can see a yacht out there. I don't know, it's all looking a little dirty. <laughs> this algae bloom's pretty epic, a bit stinky. Anyway, we'll keep moving. We're going to find a spot at some point. <laughs> so we've covered some ground. All right, what do you got here? Infinitely clearer than where I've been. And I've been to a lot of different spots today. I probably used my whole tank actually. Lucky I've I brought petrol so I could scout out some areas, but yeah. Oh, it looks nice enough. Yeah, nice and clear here at least. So silty at some of the other spots, and a lot less protected. Let's make a call. This is by far one of the nicer camp spots. But I did come here, oh, it was a couple of trips ago now. But that's all right. As long as we catch some fish and have a nice time. Water is so much clearer here. Make a call, Rod. Let's have a think. Well, the water looks clear enough through, <laughs> through the uh, algae. In the gaps that I can see, we're just about to come over the other edge of it here, so. The water looks clear enough here, which is good, because some of the other spots that I was hoping to go to this trip have turned out to be, ooh, <laughs> have been very disappointing looking, super silty, covered with algae. Sounds like the engine's about to cut out. There it goes. <laughs> Yeah, right. This water looks good. And this whole strip up here is good spearing. There's not much area to actually camp on, but I'm sure I'll figure it out and find enough. It's not a bad looking little spot though, is it? This little beach. Spin her around a bit. This island's actually not that small, but it's fairly flat compared to a lot of the others. So there's not a lot of uh, trees and things because it gets so windswept that nothing can really survive for too long. Oh, that's a nice shell, look. Little cowrie shell. Lovely. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I guess we go for a little bit of a walk up here and check it out. Boat got me here again, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Pull it up one more, just so we don't 
get stranded because the tide is coming up. Oh, will I? I can't pull it up. <laughs> These pandanas are going to be a make or break me, I think, when it comes to setting up the hoochie. It's not exactly flat ground, is it? <laughs> not sure how I'm going to work. Oh, look at this. They're like little animal tracks. <laughs> There's a good one. See, that's definitely, look, there's little paw prints with little claw marks at the front. Look at that, that's a little paw print there, look at that. Wonder what it is, possum? There's definitely something living around here. But uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna make this work. But uh, I'm just going to make it work because it's such a nice spot. Like when I was standing up here, and I look back, like look at that, that is heaven. If the mosquitoes are down, I'm happy just to sleep just down here, just under the stars. I might just put tarp just out here, just to give me a little bit of cover, just in case it rains. I'll figure out how that works. As long as there's not too many midges or mosquitoes, it doesn't feel like there's any so far. In this island, maybe it just doesn't hold. I'm sure they would be if I walked up into that scrub, but apart from just as soon as you go up to the top level there, it's actually all pretty much a fairly flat island so maybe maybe just maybe if I'm really lucky the bugs don't like this island but that's probably wishful thinking so this could be the end of me to come to come this afternoon but if there's no mosquitoes biting me here right now then there's a pretty good chance it's not going to be too bad look at that that's where I just walked down from I've definitely speared on this island but I've never actually uh, camped here and because it always looked so small up there and didn't look like there was many good spots, I've never bothered to sort of put the time in to investigate it. Okay, we might need the use of this paddle but I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet. There we go. Okay. You out right here. See how hard the ground is here. do that for now and then we'll readjust depending on how this goes yeah that works even if I just need to sleep under here that is actually fine for me as far as I'm concerned but even if we just peg it out or maybe bury it under the sand as long as I don't get wet if it does rain I don't think it's going to rain and I can sleep down here we're just going real simple, just a little bit of shade. And then if it does start to pour with rain on getting eaten by bugs, I'll just flip this inside bit out again and peg it out. It's just, it's so uneven that it's not, it's not gonna da go down and look pretty. And I actually did have it out a second ago and it was pretty hot inside. So I thought, ah, let's just leave it open. Beauty, camp is ready. Okay, pretty much set up. Brought all the rest of the gear out of the boat. Pulled the boat up a bit further so it won't uh, float away on me. And yeah, the tarp or twitchy tent, whatever it is now. The single tarp is looking pretty good. I probably would, um, oh, I don't know, the tarp actually, this could work out quite well in the end, but um, a bit more mucking around probably could just bring the regular tent but the tent down there would be cooking right now so that's the big I did get a few people saying why bother with that instead of just using the regular tent but uh, if you sat in a hot tent that's been sitting out in the Australian Sun for an hour or two during uh, midday you'll understand very quickly why I prefer the tarp or the wood because you will be cooking <laughs> I guess it's a time to sort of hop in the water and get something to eat 
We've only brought the, ba the basics again, a couple of, couple of nice meals with just fresh ingredients. We didn't bring any uh, snacks or anything. So we'll have to get in the water and uh, find something. But uh, to be honest, I think I might just sit here, have a drink and um, just chill for like half an hour. Cause I feel like I've done some hard yards this morning. I, I uh, like the, the ride over wasn't as nice as I was hoping. It was still a little windy. It was meant to be really kind of perfect. And uh, the wind did sort of end up picking up a bit. I think it's dropped a little bit now and it's progressively dropping for the next two days. So I've got three days in total or two nights and, and at the end we'll see what uh, the last day sort of presents, whether I sort of uh, hightail it home early depending on what the weather's doing. But um, yeah, it should be a nice little trip. As long as we can get some food, it'll be really nice. Get that camera chairs up. Is that actually flipped? Seems to be the right way. That's upside down. Great. Does better. <laughs> uh -huh. I've just come around this other side just to see what's around here but it's pretty much just see these rocks it's pretty much just these rocks and then it just goes to sand i think I did see a few craze which was exciting like um two i saw two that were deep in their holes and i really had no chance of getting and i did sort of see one and i sort of just went to grab his antenna and it just slipped straight through my fingers like i only got the end of it but normally i get a bit of a grasp but it just went zzz, and he just shot back to the back of the hole so yeah, maybe we'll go for a fish. Okay, tackle box. And we might bring some pliers. Don't really need the lip grips. I don't think I'll need them. <laughs> Chuck some pliers. And then 
We will start walking around the rocks. You know what, maybe we'll put a squiddy on first. Because uh, squid might be my best bet. Because when I was in the water, I didn't see anything overly exciting to cast at, but the squid are a bit more elusive. And hopefully we can get a good squiddy. I'll take anything though. <laughs> Uh, how are we gonna get this car? We'll go this one. This is the new one though. This is the same as the last pink one I lost to the GTs on the last trip. So we're gonna stand on these little points out here. Hopefully we come good. It'll be really good to come tight on something. <laughs> I love these trees, how they're so windswept. It's almost as if they've been bonsai'd along the whole ridge. It's just like a, so there's such a harsh environment to live in that they still manage to do it, but they've got to climb and like stick to the rocks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I can see a little uh, black tip. See if we can get in and follow it in. Maybe if we wind it in a bit quicker. Nah. No, nah, take it. Not that I want to catch a black tip. <laughs> Not on the squid jig, I don't think that's uh, very likely. <laughs> 10 pound in the squid jig. Oh, something's grabbed it. Oh, what's this? Oh, he's gone straight into the rocks, though. Ah, that's annoying. Don't tell me I'm going to lose my squid jig. Something just jumped out and grabbed it, but then it gone straight into the rocks. Hopefully, if I just let it go loose, he'll swim out. Ah, no. Oh, he has come out. Somehow, it's holding on as well. What have we got? Whoa! We got a cod! <laughs> Caught on the squid jig, bro. You're an unlucky fella. <laughs> so whatever, this guy must have come out and jumped up and grabbed it. And as he jumped up, another fish jumped as well. Oh, oh buddy. Oh, okay. Well, you're off. I was going to let him go a little nicer than that, but uh, unfortunately it didn't happen. Anyway, we'll keep at it. The cod are on fire, but we really want to squid. I might move around to the next sort of little bay there. See if we can have a bit more luck. There we go, boy. And we've got a rib cage by the looks of things. <laughs> what is that? What was that from? I wonder. Yeah, right. Look, there's another section of those bones here. I wonder what that was. Look, it's got a side like. Ah, oh, maybe it is a. I don't know. If anyone knows, let me know. <laughs> well, there's the outboard. <laughs> and there's the boat. It's not looking too flash. Might as well just keep walking around the island and see what it's got to offer. It might clear up over here because I know there's not much back there, so might as well just keep heading back around. Must have had a rough ride. All that rope still in as well. <laughs> look how bad the algae is here. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's going to get much better the further I go around. In fact, it gets considerably worse. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll keep heading around though. Which way? Down or up? Down. <laughs> it stinks too. Yeah, just more and more algae. God, have I gone the wrong way? <laughs> Surely I'm about halfway now. Oh, keep going around. Hopefully it clears up around the next ridge. Looks like a bit of a pain to get around though. Uh, we'll keep going. We've committed, we must be over halfway now, so there's no point in going back.
<laughs> Woo, how's that for a blowhole? That's pretty crazy. Wouldn't want to fall in there. You'd be in some serious trouble. Wow. Such a big cave all the way through. You can see it coming in through there as well. Here comes a big one. Whoa, that one was epically big. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I was worried this would happen. <laughs> I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to get around that one. Yeah. Looks like the uh, algae sort of, oh, it's still there. You can still see it. Oh, that's a bummer. I think I've used up all my time fishing wise as well. Awesome. Yeah. It's, yeah. Because it's quite a walk back now. <laughs> that was silly, wasn't it? Well, we knew that was possible. We knew there was always a possibility it would just cut out, which is exactly what's happened. Ah, oh, man. All right. Back this way. Hey, yay, yay. <laughs> well, there's an hour and a half. I won't be getting back anytime soon. Jeez, look at that, though. Looks nice. Maybe I'll just have a cast off these rocks. It'll be funny if I get one here because uh, I just walked halfway around the island. It was cool to see that blowhole and the parts of the island and all of that, but I would have much preferred to actually catch dinner. But I've got to admit, right about now is when the squid become more active until the sun goes right down and then throughout the night. So you never know. This could be the best time to do it. Uh, we'll have a couple of casts and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can actually find something. Uh, where are we going to do this? Out on this ledge. We're going downwind so we get a nice long cast. <sighs> Come on, one squid for dinner. Racing the clock, pretty much out of time. I'm definitely out of time to film it, which is a pity. Why did you walk that way? Oh, something, whoa, something's coming in to grab it. Whoa, what are they? What are they? They must be little GTs. You know what, I'm not gonna muck around. I'm gonna put a different lure on and see if I can catch one of them for dinner. Come on. We've got a glimmer of hope. What do you reckon, popper or just? You know what, I'll put a popper on just for a laugh because surface action's more better. <laughs> More better, but really, like a little slug would probably do the job. Okay, work. Let's work this. This could be a nice surface strike. I've only got 10 pound leader on, which is probably not ideal, but we just want to get a fish here. They're not big, so let's see what we end up with here. Put the tag in there. We'll just leave that lure box. I've got a feeling I might need it in a second. Uh, okay, watch the oysters. Okay, let's pop it back in. If I do get something on this, this is going to be hilariously, hilariously uh, Whoa! Whoa! Look, they're hitting it big time. Oh, there we go. Don't reef me, don't reef me. Can't go too tight. Oh, come on. Can't pull it too tight. I'll tell you what, mate, you will be dinner if you make it back here. If I can somehow get you in. Oh, just don't run that way and I'll be all right. Oh. Come on, little GT, eh? 
Oh, look at him, and he's got his mates running in with him. It's not quite as no, it's not quite as big as the last ones I was getting last time, but I'll definitely. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think I've overspilled my spool a bit. That line lay's not so great. All right, now how do we do this? Do we just lift? Very carefully lift. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have dinner. We have dinner. You know what? I don't really have time to cook it up um, and film a proper video now. But so what we might do is maybe we'll uh, we'll put this. We'll keep this guy, but um, we might uh, try and catch a few more before sunset. So we round off the video. I'm sorry I can't do the big cook up on this one, but tomorrow I'll definitely. Uh, Whoop. All right, there we go. So I'll quickly put this guy out of his misery. And then uh, we might have a couple more casts. Look at him though, he's sweet. He is epic. <laughs> sweet looking little fish, aren't they? One more cast and then maybe we'll uh, Head in and try and cook that fish up. I think we'll just do it really simply. <laughs> oh! Something had a go at it. There's fish about. Okay, maybe we call it quits with the uh, the old papa. That's the one that did a trick. I think that's like a uh, that is not a fancy lure. I think I put new trebles on a like a really crappy old uh, like best and less or something <laughs> popper that I had lying around. Anyway, let's go and head back and see if we can possibly film this uh, before uh, it gets dark. It's going to be a real quick one. <laughs> okay, we're back. Just dump that there. What have we got? We need a knife. Uh, I can just use this knife. And we'll go straight down and fill it straight away. Where is a nice bench? That looks pretty good to me. Okay, look at the setting, hey? We're gonna use the dive knife, but uh, should do an all right job. It's very sharp, so we shouldn't have too much trouble getting some nice fillets off. Well, it doesn't get much fresher than this, does it? <laughs> Straight out of the water. Okay, we'll try and get around these ribs here. Here's one fillet. Okay, we're just going to really quickly do this with a little less filming and a little more hustle. We might just screw this on. This gas cylinder, uh, a guy said he gave me the heads up and said, uh, you can get an even cheaper gas cylinder at Kmart, $4. Okay, and it works, beauty. Okay, just using oil. This is just olive oil. That's what I've got this time. Okay, there's one. We'll get a... Some flour in this little uh, pot here. Get the sriracha. And then we'll start mixing and I better get a fork out before I do that. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, this is the best bowl I've got to do this in. <laughs> so we'll just have to make do. I think we're going to need a little bit more water and sriracha. Not thick, but not quite that thick, but we'll keep mixing it for a sec. Then we might just tilt this in and just pop them in. Should have probably uh, put some flour in to dry it up first to make it stick a bit better, but there's no time for that. Okay. 
Man, to think this fish was swimming probably uh, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Crazy fresh. <laughs> 